All right, so here we are in a kitchen. Uh, we painted these kitchen cabinets. They were actually uh, oak cabinets. And uh, so we painted the face frames and we painted the doors. And so that's what this video is about. Uh, some of the challenges to go from, a, from a, a wood look to a painted look. And I'm not a professional painter, but we paint a lot of cabinets and we came up with some pretty good processes. So we're gonna go through that right now. All right, so our first step was just taking all the uh, cabinet doors and drawers back to the shop. Uh, we took all of the hardware off of them, all the hinges and knobs and pulls, and uh, and then you'll notice they have labels on them. So we numbered every every piece, and uh, so we could keep it all straight. And uh, so we we had pictures that we took beforehand, and uh, we printed the pictures and then labeled the pictures just as to correspond to all those labels. So. Label stayed on right up until paint, and uh, it worked good. Okay, so here we are again, like Groundhog Day. Uh, today we are uh, re we're repainting some cabinets. So uh, we have went ahead and oh, where's the deglosser? We deglossed everything with this stuff. I guess it's backwards, but you get the idea. So we. Uh, Wiped everything down with the de deglosser so it wouldn't, uh, just makes it easier, doesn't clog up our sandpaper and all that. Makes the sanding go a lot easier and faster. Uh, so basically cleaning everything off and uh, giving it a good sanding. Not not so much that we're taking the whole finish off, but uh, just roughing it off so we have a, a nice, clean, smooth surface that's ready to, to accept the paint. Okay, so here we are uh, starting to prime one of the doors there. Uh, the smaller doors swayed a little bit just from the air blowing out from the sprayer, but all in all worked really good. I love being able to paint both sides at the same time. Looks like he's having some trouble with the sprayer there, which happens often. But uh, So yeah, that's obviously our first coat of primer going on. So previously when we paint uh, cabinet doors, uh, we, we just lay out saw horses and, and lay everything out and paint one side and then the other. And that works great. Um, you don't have runs and stuff because they're, it's a flat surface. But uh, at the same time, you can't go nearly as fast because you gotta wait for one side to dry and then flip them over. And so we've kind of switched to uh, this system here where um, we'll have the doors on hangers. And uh, there's even better systems out there, but this is what we've been doing. Uh, so we'll put these tiny little hooks in uh, one end of the cabinet or the other. Depending if it's an upper, we'll put them on the top side. If it's a lower, we'll put them on the bottom side. Uh, whichever side that you'll never see them and they'll be concealed. But it's actually a really great system uh, because you can you can just have a bunch of them just drying. They don't take up very much space if you can put you know put a bunch of them just stacked together. So we'll have one station over here. Uh, where we'll actually do the painting and you can see we got a couple fans just pulling negative pressure just pulling all the overspray and and uh, stuff out the door so we'll paint them there kind of spin around paint the whole thing and then uh, and then we just switch and we hang them up we got a few racks like that so um, so far so good it's our first time using it but it seems like it's gonna be real good okay here we are uh, we got one coat of primer on I think we're gonna go with another coat the, uh, we usually use like a stain blocker when we're starting from scratch with our poplar, but uh, with this oak that was pre-finished, we're using this uh, Extreme Bond primer, and it seems to be working pretty good. Um, there's still a little bit of the wood bleeding through or showing through, but, uh, but we're gonna do another coat and see see if that takes care of some of that, and and maybe that'll be okay with the with uh, when we get to the final coat anyways but uh. so like I said earlier we use the uh, that extreme bond which is a primer with a better adhesion uh, to a pre-finished surface like this but normally we use a stain blocker and I believe we switched to the stain blocker for the second coat uh, just because we wanted to be sure and and uh, stop some of that you know wood from bleeding through but with one coat it almost looks like uh, I can get in here it's almost like this 
like this distressed look. It, it actually is kind of cool in its own right. I could see people doing that and then actually just being happy with that. Um, but uh, for us, so we're trying to get a nice coat that's not what we want, but it's kind of cool in, in the right setting. Okay, so here we are just hand painting the face frames and the sides of the exposed cabinets. And uh, the reason why we're doing that by hand is because I did not want to mask off everything inside the cabinets, in the kitchen, vent the kitchen. Uh, and so we rolled the dice and did it this way. And actually, it, it turned out great. And, and these are just my boys painting. They're not professional painters. And I just instructed them to do real thin coats, and we would just do multiple coats, as many as necessary. But the thin coats are good because then you leave the, you know, no brush marks, and it's a nice, smooth finish. And so uh, this is some video of just the doors uh, with, with final paint on them. Uh, they're an off-white, and then I don't know if you noticed, but the island was uh, an accent color. It's like a dark gray. And so uh, here is everything hung up, and then we just had to get everything put back together at this point. All right, guys, there's my video on taking kitchen cabinets from a wood finish to a nice painted finish and uh, a little more of an instructional than just a cool wow video, but uh, hopefully it's helpful to somebody out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.